Hello, this is Ben with DC Digital, and today I'm showcasing two sizes of our multi-purpose network controlled displays. The product on my left is a 2.3 inch DC-25N-T-DN-UP-Static, and it can function as a time of day clock, a up timer measuring elapsed time, a down timer counting down from a set value to zero, or a static number that is simply a four digit number uh, that never changes unless you change it. Uh, the product on my right is a, the same thing except in a six inch version, a DC-60N-T-DN-UP-Static Dash IN. In this case, this is an indoor product. We also make the same size in an outdoor product as well. Uh, these are network controlled, as I mentioned, multi purpose displays. And I'll go over the network settings uh, that you can pull up uh, simply by pointing to the device's IP address. You pull up the home page, and both devices have a similar page. This is the page for the primary display on my left. This is the page for the secondary display on my right. Now the primary display has been modified from the standard product. That's this product right here. And we've modified it to allow it to transmit or broadcast. The product on my right is this product standard off the website with no changes. Uh, so once you get to here, you'll see a field where we can test various control strings and they're spelled out in this protocol with some examples down here. Uh, for the purposes of, the, of this video, I will use asterisk, asterisk, which is the wild card for all groups and all channels. Um, and this is the same page for the secondary display. The network setup tab um, brings you to this page, which is all the de device settings. And so here we've named this first device primary, We've set it to a static IP address of 192.168.1.3 with a subnet mask, a gateway, and server, and the listening port of port 23. It also ha it has outgoing TCP settings. It's broadcasting to 192.168.1.4 on network port 23. So here in the secondary display, we have it set up We've named it secondary. We've set it up with a static IP address of 192.168.1.4 with the subnet mask gateway and server, and then it is listening on port 23. So it will listen to the first device and correct itself to whatever the behavior of the first device. And I'll show you how that's done. So right now uh, it is 2.22 p.m. So we'll type in TC. 0 for PM, 0 2, 2 2, asterisk, asterisk, and we'll send that. Okay, and you'll see the devices go to 222 and tell time of day. Um, I will type in an up timer value, so TU1 because we want it to go, and we'll start at 0. Here we have it elapsing time in synchronization. We'll do a down timer, TD. One because we want it to go. We'll start at one minute and zero seconds. And now we have it counting down in synchronization from one minute to zero. And lastly, we'll show it Static display, TS01234, asterisk, asterisk, and we'll send that. And now it's simply showing the number 1234, 1234. Okay, uh, 
if I de if I change this uh, secondary device now having it listening to the first and I type in tu one zero 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 asterisk asterisk You'll see it briefly change to start to count up and then be corrected to what the primary is doing. And that is how these work. Uh, these work from that command string. They also work from any device that can send a UDP or TCP payload of 7 to 9 bytes. I believe they're using a Crestron controller. In this instance, I've heard of people using other uh, C or, or programming that they've done on a, on a pin PC, Visual Basic and whatnot, to send uh, these commands to these displays as well. Thank you for watching. This has been, and this has been the product showcase for the DC-25N-T-DN-UP-Static Multipurpose Numeric Display.